From a supplement market perspective, it's constantly evolving. You see all the time now, and probably more so in the last two years in, in Europe um, than ever before, particularly protein coming to the forefront of, of people's minds. Uh, you see some of the huge brands just shouting about protein now and looking for protein additions to, to their snacks or drinks or foods, uh, which is obviously perfect for us. We, we were probably ahead of the curve when we launched Coco Pro three years ago as a convenience protein health option. Um, now the curve, is, the curve is caught up, so we're sitting right in the sweet spot of everything. Um, with a bigger picture mind, I'd, I'd say that people in general are moving a little bit more towards flexitarianism, so um, vegetarianism and, and obviously the, the vegan side of things as well. So that's clearly going to be some, an area that uh, growth continues and, and one that we'll, we'll operate in a little bit more. Um, Coco Pro is vegetarian, uh, vegetarian society approved, but at the same time, we, we always want to be um, a little bit ahead of the curve and, and first to market with these new ideas. So that's, that's one thing for us. We, we, want to, we want to drive innovation. We want to bring great tasting functional products to the mass market. We're really fortunate with, with Coco Pro and some of the ambassadors that we have um, are, are absolutely terrific. But we, we tried making things simple in, in a quite a complex area. There are a lot of ambassadors out there who are essentially being paid to talk about stuff. Um, and I think the consumers now are, are slowly managing to filter through that and start understanding genuine advocates uh, for products. So for us, uh, with, with Coco Pro, We've built a group of genuine advocates um, and ambassadors on our website, people who are high-level athletes, whether that's hockey, triathlon, rugby, football, yoga, on our, on, on our website who can drive content, talk about their use of, of Coco Pro, um, and, and largely just try and give a bit of a value add to the consumer. Um, it is, it's a bit of a minefield, but we've got professional sports sites who who love the product and buy from us um, and we're looking to develop more and more ambassadors at the very top end of their trade um, because ultimately that's what the consumer is looking for. They, they want people to find uh, individuals who they look up to and find out what they do and for us we're, we're very lucky in that we've got a product that the best in the business use um, and we hope that that will filter down to people who are massively aspirational and want to, want to do what's good for themselves. Yes, yeah, start, start businesses in the supplement in industry is very difficult. Um, there's a huge number of big players within the market. So for me, as a startup now, one of the key bits of advice that I would give, having made mu a multitude of mistakes along the way, is find a space within a crowded market, go after it, and try and own that space.